Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Hamlet Horatio. And this is a new drama, this adaptation of the timeless Hamlet uh, play by William Shakespeare. And you have this story that is kind of presented in not quite how like Dogville is, where it's just like people just acting and not really having actual sets or anything. But borderline, yeah, it feels like this is happening, this is happening on a soundstage, this is being recorded in terms of this performance of Hamlet, and this is from director Paul Werner, writer David Vando, and starring Andrew Burdett as Hamlet and Themo Makidzi as Horatio. And this film is very different. It's a compelling setup. You open up the film with our, I believe it was the same guy who plays Horatio comes out and he's like the director of this show and he's walking the set getting things ready and then bam, we're in and this has this very meta feel to it. We have this very much have an on the set kind of feel to it and that's very different. You have these harsh, bright, sharp lighting everywhere like spotlight and you're just like, glowing under the spotlight as you're reading your lines or looking straight at the camera with some of the shots that go on in this film and I do have to say there's a lot of interesting bold choices in terms of adding sound effects and making very erratic and kind of crowded edits in terms of scenes splicing together and one thing I have to say is the audio in this is terrible. Like, some of the characters... I mean, you are just whispering. You really hear exactly what they're saying. And then you have other characters that sound like they're yelling! And it's just like, what's going on here? It's like, it feels very low budget. Very low budget. This film feels like a glorified student film at times. And you could definitely sense that with some of the acting as well. Because I feel like the lead actor is Hamlet's not really convincing. I've never seen like a really whiny and like shrill kind of Hamlet up to this point, And it didn't really work for me. This wasn't Kenneth Brenner. It wasn't Mel Gibson. And it just was odd and didn't really click for me. And the there's definitely some moments of acting throughout this film that feel iffy. And that... These might not be the most seasoned of pros trying to do this adaptation. And they do have some interesting music choices of like a modern kind of synthetic kind of music. And you also have these more modernized designs of costumes and sets. And it's interesting how the story is, from what I can tell, is pretty faithful to Hamlet. It's just done in a very different kind of way. And it didn't really work for me, but I did appreciate the effort and the boldness that went into creating this film. I cannot take that away from the work that Warner did directing this film. But did I really like this experience? Did I have fun? Did I enjoy it? Did I feel it? Not really. And a combination of the acting and the sound, which was extremely distracting, this film kind of falls flat. And... I've seen four-hour versions of Hamlet somewhere in my movies over here with Kenneth Brenner's version. And, like, you have Laurence Olivier's version, you have all these different kinds of versions, and in the end, I don't think this particular one is super worth checking out besides maybe just quickly going through some of these bold choices and how the film is presented, because that feels like it's the main thing that you might get out of this. But those are my thoughts on Hamlet Horatio. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.